I'm Doug Vansack. I'm VP of Analytics and Data Services at Autoloop, and I manage the analytics department uh, where we use um, analytics and customer research, research to drive communication strategies um, and strategies across a lot of our products at Autoloop. We found that uh, with one of our products, our CRM product called XRM, we found an alarming trend. We found that the majority of customers, um, after they show up at a dealership uh, for the first time and don't buy what are called unsold prospects, the majority of those unsold prospects don't receive a follow-up. And we found that uh, when they receive a follow-up, they are about 70% more likely to buy than when they don't. And it presented a great opportunity for us to better understand why customers receive follow-ups and why they don't to ultimately try to help dealers understand if they're focused on the right people. Because there's a limited amount of time and it's easy to say, well, they just need to follow up with everyone. The reality is there's limited resources. So we wanted to help dealers understand uh, how to best spend their time so that they could follow up with the right people. I think this builds on their past experience. Uh, ultimately what we found is that a human can't process all of the different attributes around a customer and make the best decision about why customers buy. Uh, ultimately, you need sophisticated uh, techniques that bring together a lot of these attributes and ultimately tell you who are the best people, or what we call the prime prospects, and, and who are the long shots. Uh, and at the end of the day, what, what our approach does and what these insights reveal is that you need to capture as much intelligence around the customer uh, during the, the initial visit, and then you need to have um, machine learning algorithms to interpret that and decide who are the best customers to follow up with. Even without those machine learning algorithms, uh, there's still a lot you can learn uh, from this process that could be applied within a dealership. But at the end of the day, what this tells us is the more information that you can get about the customer on that initial visit, the better prepared you will be to make the right investment with your time after that visit. There's tremendous value because at the end of the day, you don't necessarily know uh, what insights or what technologies are gonna gain the most traction. And there has to be a certain level of entrepreneurship within the industry to drive that level of innovation. And I think what's great about the competition, like the Most Valuable Insights Award, as well as others, is that it really promotes that forward-looking uh, uh, approach for companies, and it really helps companies like ours think about where to go next um, and reveal a lot of those, those insights to dealers. But I do think it, it encourages a spirit of innovation and entrepreneurship uh, in an industry that really is kind of founded on entrepreneurship. Well, I think, unfortunately, things have changed. Uh, there are, we've done a lot of research around customer behavior and customer preferences, and we did find that, for example, um, it was about 15% of customers actually don't want to own a car anymore. And the biggest issue that they have today is that there isn't a viable solution for a lot of people not to own a car. There's companies like Uber and Lyft that have helped to fill some of that void, uh, but ultimately the success of those companies has really demonstrated that the industry has changed forever. And the challenge that we see for a lot of dealerships is in the short run to figure out how to make the most of your essentially smaller opportunities for uh, customers that want to own vehicles and then in the long run try to reinvent the dealership experience and take advantage of some of these uh, new technologies and these new business models to really change and, and better adapt to what consumers want from their uh, mobility experience. What I enjoyed about this particular competition and what I saw this year is that you have companies taking a big step forward uh, in the space of artificial intelligence and in trying to better understand what drives human behavior and use machines to be uh, better informed um, so that at the end of the day vendors uh, can provide better guidance to dealerships on how to best manage their processes, uh, which customers to follow up with, 
Um, and it was a common theme that I saw today. So it was exciting to see that the industry really is trying to move forward and take advantage of all this great information that we have about customers and be more intelligent in how they use that information.